everyone, it's Rena here at Ta. Welcome to my channel. So today I'd like to introduce some products from 7-Eleven, which is a convenience store in Japan. There are some kind of unique products that they don't have in the States, so I'd like to introduce them. This is called Zaru Soba. I think everyone knows what soba is, but it's like a Japanese noodle, and you can eat it by buying it at the convenience store. So this is like water, and you use it to like the noodles are really thick right now, so you use this water to make it more smooth and it's like easier to pick up. Is you have like the sauce and you put it here and you have green onions and you put it inside the soup. And like this. Itadakimasu! It tastes like it's not from the convenience store, it's from like a store, like a restaurant. Well, it's kind of like this. It's really easy to make and really fast to eat, so we don't have time. You can just run into the convenience store and buy that is topa. Next product. This is shiromochi taiyaki. It's shaped like a fish. It's shaped like a fish. It's a Japanese, like, what do you call it? Like, sweet it's japanese sweet it's tastes like a fish like that and there's it's kind of like a bread and then the inside there they have like chocolate or they can you put anko or this has custard cream in it i'm not a big fan of custard cream but i'll take a bite Isn't that bad? So the next one I would like to introduce is uh, it's a uh, strawberry warabi mochi, and warabi is like I don't know how you make it, but it's like it's squishy. And apparently this is really good if you freeze it. You, if even if you freeze it, it's really good. And inside, it's like strawberry whipped creams in it. it I don't think something like this would be sold in the States so it's kind of like a Japanese thing especially because it's a warabi mochi but with you know strawberry so it's kind of different it's really big it was bigger than I expected it's kind of it's like it's like squishy <laughs> and it's ginormous okay next one this is the same it's kind of like the same thing, but you can give it. Um, this is one of the series where if you freeze it, it tastes good. Good, and this is a cream puff that you can freeze or just eat it like this. And it, everyone knows what a cream puff is, so there's not really anything to explain it. But like, you don't even have to go to the supermarket. You can just get it at the convenience store, which is kind of easy. It's so fluffy. It's ginormous. It smells really good. Mm. <laughs> really good. Look at all the cream. So the next one is a matcha cheese souffle. I have no clue what that is, but a matcha thing is probably really Japanese, so I decided to get this. And it's apparently it's a new product that's out in 7-Eleven. And I have no clue what a souffle is, so let me just open it and see what's inside. Whoa! Matcha! 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 Yeah. 
It's kind of like a cake. It's kind of like a matcha treat. Oh? It's kind of like a matcha cream cheese cake. If you like matcha, I think this is really good. So this one, it's a melon cream bread. And so apparently it's gonna taste like melon. Oh, it smells like melon. Like really, really melon. It's ginormous too. Oh, there's like melon cream inside. It's kind of like a snack, more than like a bread. So if you like melon and you want to snack on something, I'd recommend this. Next product I'd like to introduce is this. And it's like a yakitori set. It's um, these are three, they're made of chicken. So it's also, oh, it says in English, assorted grilled chicken, and there's, it's like a frozen meal, and you put it in the microwave, and you heat it for about like three minutes, maybe, and then you just take it out, you put it, there's a tray inside, so you put it in the microwave without this, and then you can just eat it. And I would like to demonstrate. So, here we go. <laughs> it's done. So there's three types of these. What do you call it? Shish kebabs? No, I don't know, but there's three types. I'll just say in Japanese. It's torikawa, torimomo, tsukune. And I'm not gonna explain what it is or where it's from, but they're all very good. So I tried the Torikawa first. Hmm. Mm. It's actually something that you would like get at a store or at the restaurant, I mean. Yeah, it's something that you get at the restaurant. It's really good. It's like... Mm hmm It tastes like it's not a frozen product. So I'll try to take the next one. Very good. It doesn't taste like it's frozen. So the next one, I actually like this. Usually you can dip it in like egg. It's really good. Mm. Mm -hmm. They're all very good. I'm very surprised. I thought it'd take like more fake. I thought it'd taste more fake, but it's actually not that fake. It's kind of, it's really real. The next one I would like to introduce is, it's a hot dog. It's a chili dog with four types of cheese inside. So it's really hard to see, but you actually, you microwave this too. And inside it has cheddar, parmesan, it has mozzarella and cream cheese inside. And it's just like a hot dog, like a chili dog. So I'd like to put this in the microwave too. Okay. So let's try the, this is ginormous. So this is the one with the four cheese and chili sauce and just, it's very messy so I'd recommend eating this at home. Let me try. Mm-hmm. Oh it's kind of spicy. It's actually really spicy. 
Well, it's probably the show. So I don't know where the cheese is, though. Mmm. I don't know. It's really spicy. But it's really good. I feel like spicy. So the next product I would like to introduce is this. And I eat this a lot. It's a salad chicken. Just a uh, steamed chicken. Just regular. And everyone in Japan, when they're on a diet, and it's really easy because it's at the convenience store, and you just buy it and eat it. Like, you just open it and just, like, bite off of it. They have a lot of flavors. This one's just a plain one. And what you do is you just open it, eat it, and then you'll be done with the meal for that day when you're on a diet. But, like, you can also put it in a salad. Like, you just put it... And then it's steamed, so all you have to do is just like rip it apart and put it in a salad. It's very, very easy. So, and it only has 107 calories. So, when I'm on a diet, I actually eat this a lot. But I like, um, there's a Harb, Harb salad chicken, and I like that a lot. But this time, I just got the plain one. And it's really easy. You just open it this and then what I do <laughs> is I put the chicken like this and I just like bite off of it and it's really soft and it makes your stomach full really fast so if you go to the convenience store I would definitely recommend this and right now they have all kinds of different types of these chickens they actually have salmon too stick chickens and it's like it's there's it's kind of weird but very healthy okay so whenever you guys have the time to come to Japan and go to 7-eleven into the convenience store I would definitely recommend the products that I introduced it today and there are way more products that I didn't get to show today but there are so many things you're not going to be able to get out of the convenience store at all. But when you come to Japan, please try and, you know, have something like a sarasoba or something like that. Well, thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe and press the good button and comment. So, thank you for watching. Bye!